Hi guys, Lone Gamer UK here, back for some more Cold Waters action. Um, sorry about the abrupt start to the uh, game. Torpedoes in the water, but uh, sonar. Sierra One is cavitating. I started to broadcast without the right screen selected, so you had a blank screen to look at while I was talking away for 15 minutes. So. Uh, we failed a mission about the wolf pack because we went to Holy Lock to rearm, and we're uh, the mission is that we're looking for some SSGNs to sink before they get to the Atlantic. We found some subs. Don't think this is our mission, but we're going to engage these anyway. Um, try and take them out, and um, and then carry on looking for the SSGNs. Uh, there is another subfleet near this one, um, but I have a feeling that's not our mission either because it said they'll sail in the next three days. So we're going to be sinking quite a few subs here until we can find these SSGNs. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one, zero, six. Uh, I also have to apologise for not broadcasting cold waters for a few days. breaking up reason being is uh, I had to spend a, a pretty much a, a day grinding some world of warships uh, to try and get the ships and tea flag uh, which I forgot all about and the mighty stoner reminded me to get that done before the deadline uh, I also had some real-life stuff to deal with and you might have also seen me streaming an old very old game called superpower 2 which I've been doing um, but yes, it's been a couple of days since I did Cold Waters, so we're back again. Um, we've done seven missions. We're attempting to do our eighth successful mission, uh, although this engagement uh, isn't our mission. And that isn't my target. Uh, so can I save the torpedo? him on the surface. I think it is. Sub on the surface. So I will have to uh, quickly delete the old um, streams that I did with no, no picture on them. <laughs> Which I uh, apologise for. He is, he is on the surface, isn't he, that November? But often you catch these submarines on the surface. November's quite an old sub, so maybe he's had to do that for his uh, air and oxygen. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one, one, three. I'm not going to adjust the torpedo, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Now, no, it has found Con it. sonar, noisemaker, bearing one, one, two. The way he's not diving, I mean, damaged in any way. Just going to see how good he is at evading this without me using the wire. Not, not too good now for him. Con sonar, lost contact. C 
Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. One, two. Contact breaking uh, up. Now he's gonna dive. So. Reload those tubes. And I need to just sort those uh, videos out quickly. I had to delete that video off uh, Twitch. On the blank screen and me chatting away. Reload the torpedo tubes. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Reload tube one. And I need to sort out um, I'll we'll just uh, get that tube reloaded just in case. Next engagement. Con, quick, torpedo room, tube one ready. Quick as I think it's going to be. Okay, so we know this wasn't our mission. We knew that. And we got another sub fleet here. Again, don't think this is our mission either. Oh, 23 knots. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay. Six hundred feet. Let the speed come down. Kind of ran into these guys a little bit. A bit too quick. I'm uh, going to come. Uh, I think left to a. Due north. Con sonar new contact bearing one Oops, one five designated Sierra one. It's on my right hand side. Con sonar new contact bearing. Okay, fair enough. Not quite where I thought thought they were going to be. Let's have a look. What what, what have we got? Um, Baller. Oops. Do, do, do. Right. Nope. Nope. Delta SSB. Alaska. Charlie. We're probably looking for Oscars or Charlies though when that is our mission, but pretty sure these guys are not. But we'll sink them. Here we go, that looks like a foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as submerged submarine. And that looks like Con sonar, Sierra 2, foxtrot. is classified as submerged submarine. Okay, 30 degree right rudder, helm. Make your course uh, 120. Coming to course 120. 
Let's have a look at our conditions. 88 decibels. We have got a um, moderate layer. So just below that. I'm, I'm good where I am to be honest. So I'm stay here. So Sierra one about 150 deep. Sierra two just under the layer about 100. 100 foot. Quite close. Engage. We'll engage both of these at the same time as well. And we'll um, course one two zero sets. Just gonna go a little bit past that. That's fine. Okay. So this one looks a bit nearer. 36% solution, that's 34. Just going to wait for those solutions to come. Come back a little bit. I'm pointing that target and this one's off to my right. I'll make that a right hand torpedo for Sierra 2 and that can be torpedo for Sierra 1. Changing their depth, I'm pretty sure you don't see us but they are diving. Both of them are now four to five hundred foot in depth, coming down to my depth. So they might acquire me soon. Let me give them something to think about pretty shortly. Do -do -do. Yeah, I'm not sure their ranges. I think they're a little bit maybe further out than they're saying they are, but uh, I'm not going to wait. So, uh, Torpedo 1. I'm going to shoot down the bearing. Firing point procedures 115. Range to enable 8,900 yards. Um, set range to enable 4,000 yards. Fire Tube 1. Con, Torpedo Room. Firing Tube 1. Tube 2. Firing point procedures, target Sierra 2, Foxtrot, on the bearing of 178, shoot down the range bearing, range to enable 2700 yards, far to 2. Con, torpedo room, firing 2 2. Okay. I probably heard those. I could make get them to just ping active. I think I'll wait till they get to their position range although I do tend to like sneaky torpedo attacks Sierra 1 is still doing 8 knots
So this this is definitely not our mission either. So again, we'll just kill these four subs and then wait for the target mission to come on scene. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one one zero. Con sonar, oh. noisemaker, bearing one eight eight. A little bit closer than uh, we thought he was. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one zero eight. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing one eight nine. So you dropping their noise not makers tonight. Con sonar <coughs> lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing one zero six. Contact breaking up. Sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing one eight eight. Contact breaking up. Okay, so I think that's those dealt with. So we're still waiting for the SSGNs. Okay, this could be them. Possibility. Let's just uh, just need to reload these. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, conditions weak layer, 141 feet, very noisy, 113 below the layer. Okay. Have we got any sonar yet? No. I was coming up from the map now, but uh, we'll run on 180 for a little while and then we'll change course. Probably to 270, go west, see if we can pick up them up on, on that TMA leg. we wait for that I will be right back uh, just give me one moment
Okay, and we're back. So, did we get anything on Sona? Nothing at all. I'm wondering if they're above the layer. It's a very noisy sea, but let's uh, let's come right 30 degrees right rudder. Make a course 270 helm. 270i. very noisy sea so they, they could be deep because of the noise and my angle I'm just not seeing them so we'll, we'll run at 270 see if we can pick them up if not we'll just come above the, the weak layer give that a shot after this so that toad array do its thing Okay, just gonna steady the ship there. Course 270. Okay, we're just gonna let this run for a minute or two. Although it doesn't look too bad, it's a little bit choppy. Hundred thirteen decibels is loud. That's a very loud sea state, which uh, is not helping us with our sonar. Just compress time just a little bit there. Okay, we're still not getting anything there, so we're just going to come up 10 degree bubble. Make your depth uh, 75 feet. I'm going to come to 75 feet, which will be above the layer. See if we can pick them up there. And we're up above the layer already. Passing yeah. 100 feet. Depth 75 feet. Okay, we're not getting anything. Up here. Okay, I'm gonna come right again to. We're gonna come right to course 290 first, and then possibly 360. So, 30 degree right rudder. We're close to ten thousand yards, so they shouldn't be shouldn't be too far away. Okay, just gone past two nine zero, but still nothing. 
Okay, so I don't think they're above the layer. And I didn't pick them up, so they could they just could be deep, six, seven hundred feet, and with this noise of sea. So fifteen degrees down on the uh, planes. Fifteen degree bubble down. Make your depth six hundred feet. Dive I. Passing one hundred feet. We haven't picked them up by the time we get to 600 feet. We'll, we'll probably run north, maybe even east, to see if we can get anything Passing in the Passing 200 feet. Passing 300 feet. In fact, if they're the GNs, they do tend to run a bit deeper than, say, Fox Trots or Romeo, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're not down at six, seven hundred feet. We'll be passing 400 here, still nothing on sonar. Don't make me use active ping. Cold water, Passing please. 400 feet. Passing 500 feet. Okay, zero bubble. Point 550. Still nothing. Hmm. Okay, six hundred feet. Passing six hundred feet. Leveling out, just under six hundred feet. Okay, helm. Make course three six zero. Come right. A degree right runner. Con sonar new contact bearing two nine two designated Sierra one. Okay, Sierra one. Let's see what you are. A good strong signal. Hmm. Maybe that. Right. That could be a Delta Four. Oh no, not. I think it's a Charlie. Charlie one or two. Hmm. Be a Victor as well. Look like a Victor SSM to me at the moment. Let's go back to those Charlies. Not got a really strong signal. Let's 
So let's come back to course three six zero. Just came a little bit off course there. So they're off to my left. Not a very strong signal. Could just launch a torpedo at him, get him to move. As he's doing 30 knots, really? <laughs> wow. Well, he's probably not an SSGN. He's a Charlie. Probably this. To say the Victors and the Charlies are quite similar. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing two eight one contact faded. Okay. I'm going to fire a torpedo down the bearing. Two six one. Come left to six one. Ahead two thirds. Hell am I? Okay, pointing the target, far torpedo tube one, zero one, bearing 280, range 9,500 yards, range to enable 7,000, uh, 6,000. Con, torpedo room, firing tube one. So I was hoping to cavitate, but this depth. I'm probably going to have to put it active when it gets close to its Pretty sure there's another sub out here as well. If that is a Victor, it's not a GN that we're looking for, but on a bit. Mm -hmm. 
here, let's pick something up. Good. Get another reading soon. Well, I'm assuming I am, but at this depth he could be running at flank speed. I don't want to keep the wire though, so... I only doing 10 knots, so... He is running. I have to use active to find the second sub, but I don't want to use active if there's two subs out there. I need to kill at least one of them first. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, eight, seven. Here we go. Not sure what sub he is, we can't see him. We went to the right. Con route. sonar regained contact on. Yes. like a victor to me. Okay. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Uh, where's our other sub? Con sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar, switching to passive search. Con Sierra sonar, two. lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, three. Con, torpedo room, firing tube two. Snapshot on Sierra, two. Come right to course two nine zero. News I'm out here now, but if I can keep this wire. was is it an SSGN though that's what we need to find out quad I was waiting to hear the ping on active but it didn't actually sound had the contact up on the screen already but uh, Probably had it going a bit longer than I needed Con, to. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay. 
I can run this guy on. Maybe I have to steer away from the wreck. We'll see. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Oh shit. All right, he's behind me. Sierra three. Ooh, what is that? Sierra three. The, where the hell did he come from? And looks like a Victor three to me. Sierra 2 was back here. Hi Ian, how you doing? I am trying to find an SSGN. But I'm in a very noisy sea. And my sonar is... Death is a post. I fired at the Sierra 2 that's is out here somewhere and then this has come up but uh, it's given me a different classification so I might have another might have another bogey here okay make your course come right to course uh, three, uh, 310 30 degree right rather it's updated slightly now Another sub, three subs. So this could be a, a GN. Course 310. There we go. So let's go for a left hand launch. He's moving south, this guy. I'm going to fire anyway. Even though. I mean, let's have a look. Looks like a Victor 2. Thing is, these Charlies are very, very similar to the. Well, I am looking for an SSGN, I mean, it could be that. But the difference between that and these Victors is negligible. Yourself, Con don't. sonar lost contact. Sierra three last bearing two eight one contact faded. Don't care. I'm gonna shoot you anyway. Firing point procedures. Sierra three bearing two eight zero range seventeen thousand yards. Range to enable. I'm gonna do six thousand eight hundred yards. No, I won't. I'll do. Six torpedo room firing two four. He probably is further back. This one here hasn't picked anything up. I could send him active, but with two of them out there now, I was pretty sure I was only facing two subs now. It looks like it's three. Hmm. The hunt for SSGN. So this is my HMS Trafalgar. Just sunk one sub. Not sure if this is our mission. Very noisy sea. All ducts. I've been above the ducts. I've been below the duct. I've been all points of the compass trying to get. Uh, had to use active sonar to get Sierra 2. Put him out there somewhere. That's that was fairly accurate. That because that was that was an active ping. Um, this one came out of nowhere though. A little bit later, so we'll have to see what this buddy is. 
And he's moving towards me. Let's just run this on a smidge. Not a smudge, but a smidge. Right, so we're going to move this one. Where are you going, sunshine? Okay. He is locking on Sierra 3. This one. I think the bat is just a little bit left. I think. I'll just look a little bit that way. I might have to put him active. Let's see what this one does. Locked onto something. I mean, it's anybody's guess at the moment. And it's Con, sonar, see. regained contact on. Oh, he's close. So he's close to where he says he is. 9,600 yards, 37%. That's not a good solution, but... Torpedo is definitely locked on, so we'll wait for the noisemaker. And then what I might do is put this torpedo active, but it might end up going for the wrecks. Con sonar, mm. noisemaker right, bearing 285. I think it was the noisemaker. We found him, whoever he is. We're definitely looking for an SSGN missile boat, but. He just evade that torpedo, did he? He did. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's locking on me, isn't he? I mean, must be sonar uh, lost contact. Sierra can't say, three, that noise maker bearing, can't be two, far away. Eight, nine, contact breaking up. Ooh, now that. I don't know, that could be... Hmm, that does look like a Victor 2. That's not an SSGN then, is it? Put this torpedo active, see if he can find somebody. Yeah, death is a post with this sea state noise. This is the uh, Trafalgar class. So 1983, the current current year, still in service. I mean, again, they're using the original models, but uh, slightly slightly tweaked. So this is the class previous to the Astute, but we've still got a few Trafalgars uh, at sea at the moment, and being replaced by these streets as we build them. This, so that was the bearing. And this torpedo, this torpedo's not seeing Sierra 2. You know what? I'm going to have to do an active ping again. Con sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar regained Whoa. contact on. Shit. Really? Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing three, four, How eight. Can be contact that close? faded. Oh, it doesn't tell me its range. 
snapshot. Uh, range 8,000 yards, bearing 350. Whoops. Range to enable 4,000 yards. Our oh, tube 5. Con, torpedo room, firing 2 5. I could turn this torpedo back, but it's just insurance. It's probably, it'll probably hit me. Um, let's turn it back in case he runs. Um, if he runs, we'll leave it like that. But he's where that active sonar put. Got no data on because he's disappeared as soon as I took the active sonar off. Didn't even, didn't even get a classification on him. Yeah, you, you, you can do the same drinking game, Ian, if you want. Broaching, lost wires. You'll find, though, looking at my videos, I rarely lose a wire. <laughs> I take that wire and I ram it right up the rear side of my enemy submarine. I love my wires. Don't like losing control of my torps. I'm just going to run this on. It goes into search mode, passive. Whoops. Really? I've gone past him already, have I? Hmm. Don't cross the streams. Well, some moments like this, you wish you had the wire. If I had cut these wires, it, these I'd be losing torpedoes like nobody's business. But uh, you don't know where your contacts are. You need to do quite a lot of wire driving as they say. So you'll see this UI is slightly different. I'm still not running the latest mods, but you'll see in the British boats, uh, guys, this it's all in blue. All this uh, text here is in blue. It's got the blue UI, so any of the uh, British boats are in the blue UI. So that has found him now. Uh, I'm not sure what torpedo I'm looking at here. So, unusually for me, it's because of the sea state really, um, I'm going to sink three subs that I had no idea what they were when I launched the torpedoes, and I'm still not quite sure. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Thank you, torpedo room. If he's on that bearing, this torpedo here, when I mean, I've fired it now, I can't. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, mm. five, one. Because we don't have the model, we don't know if he's turning left or right. I'll steer past the noisemaker. See where the torpedo takes us. Ah, uh, he went to the right. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing three. Yeah, he's there. Have to help this torpedo, I think. Put it at 
perspective on either. Can't be him, surely. Still so got more subs out here. Where did he go? He's not back. He's back where those noisemakers were. Can't drop noisemakers and just disappear. Oh, there he is. Got my sonar on now, sunshine. You're not going to escape this. Looking a bit like it's pointing at me. But we're going straight back for these. I still think he's here. That's his noisemaker from before. Here he is. Here he is. That doesn't look like an SSG in either. All look like Victor's. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, five, three. Right. Time to meet your maker, Sierra 2. The torpedo just expired. Reload. Reload the spearfish. Mm, okay, so I still don't know quite what I sunk. A couple of Victor 2s and 3s by the look of it. I don't think any of those were SSGNs. Um, I don't know if I've even got more boats out here. It's so noisy. see what uh, no uh, before I do that though I'm gonna ping active con sonar switching to active search let's make sure there's nothing escaping Could be a Charlie. I mean, the um, Con, sonar. the Victors and the Charlies search. are very similar, so I'm hoping one of them is a Charlie because if it is, it is the mission. So, okay, let's escape this then and we'll soon find out. Mm, there we go, Charlie 1. Well, that is an SSBN. I think that's our mission in. And it was a Victor 2 and a Victor 3, so. And I'm still not sure which one was the Charlie. Okay, let's hope that's the mission. Yeah. It was. Hooray. Okay, update. Convoys protected. Incidents involving attacks on transatlantic convoys by hostile submarines in and around the North Atlantic have rapidly diminished. Anonymous spokesman suggested increased NATO submarine operations in the area are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has denied such claims. Okay, so our next mission. Oh, what is it with these cruise missiles and stuff? So, cruise missile submarines transiting southward in the Norwegian Sea. It's exactly what I just had. This is a yes, another GN. The enemy sub is believed to be a diesel electric Juliet class. It may have a diesel attack sub escort. Really? 
I was probably going to stop just here because we've just done mission eight. But Norwegian Sea, we're pretty much in the same spot, aren't we? So. So maybe we'll just stay here and do this mission and I'll make make that the end of the stream. Been going an hour. Um so yeah, anyway around here we should see some subs. These guys. Could be. I'll uh, save it though. Let's have a look at the summary. So we did mission eight, 360,000 tons. We got five medals. Just check. Doesn't say going southward towards the North Atlantic convoy route. So it won't be down the coast. Going to be trying to come through here. Oh shit, he's over there and I think I've left it too late. I'm going to run full speed into him. Oh, he's just disappeared as I got there. Ah. I failed this mission. Did Norwegian Sea didn't say he was going to run through the Denmark Strait, but I suppose still going to the North Atlantic. I didn't catch him. Like a goalkeeper here sometimes. Do I go left? Do I go right? That mission's a bust. This campaign is going to take forever. Keep me, keep fair. I've already failed one mission beginning of this tonight because I was reloading. Yeah, this is going to be a fail now. There we go. Whatever. Bubs attack. Your shit. Intel believes enemy crew submarines having conducted successful operation over the North Atlantic will now attempt to transit the gap on the way back. Okay, well. Yeah. When they go that deeper red, they just then disappear. If I move out there, he'll pass me. I need to stay here. There we go. Oops. Okay. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe I failed two missions tonight. Okay. 10,000 yards, battle stations, our depth is 50 feet, speed 5 knots. Let's go. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, we know one of them's an SSGN, don't we? They look like a Charlie or an Oscar. Doesn't have to be this sub, of course. Victor. Like a Victor 1 to me.
Con Sonar Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Six is free, it looks like, but we know Mum's got B or G in, so it's probably probably this Charlie. Charlie 2. Charlie 1. Con Sonar Sierra 1 is classified as submerged submarine. Okay. The knots. <laughs> Depth 14 feet. Holy shit. What? Okay, drinking game. There we go. Get it started. What? What am I doing up here? Having a look around. Thank God it's a submission. Okay, make my depth 500 feet, 30 degrees down on the planes. 30 degree down bubble. Passing 100 feet. Mark, will I be streaming tomorrow? Yeah, I will do. Um, not sure if I'll be streaming this though. I'll probably get another Super Bad 2 in. Passing 200 feet. I'll do another one of these either tomorrow or Sunday. Crash dive going on here, five knots. Passing 300 feet. All, all the bread rolls are rolling to the front of the... Passing 400 feet. Passing 500 feet. Okay, start to level off the boat. So we come to about probably about 620 feet here. Passing so. 600 feet. for a picture. <laughs> yeah. The Royal Wedgwood has been smashed to smithereens. Got this jet, this like thing sticking out the left here. I don't know if that's really on the Trafalgar. Well, like a, I have one on uh, the other side. This, this thing here. Right. Okay. Only 4% solution. Okay, I'm gonna. So, firing point procedures uh, torpedo tube 1 for Sierra 2, Victor 1 target, bearing 310. Shoot on the bearing do, do, 316. Range to enable 6,500 yards. Fire tube 1. Con, torpedo road, firing tube 1. Tube 2, fine point procedures, Sierra 1, Charlie, target, bearing 291, shoot down the bearing, 
range to target 11,100 yards, range to enable 7,000 yards, our tube 2. On, torpedo room, firing tube 2. Yeah, I'm not sure how Larry got here. I, I think we, we found him in a little dinghy floating out in the uh, Norwegian Sea. Saying some crazy yank kicked him off his boat. and We picked him up. We said, uh, who are you? He said, I'm Larry. We're kind of maybe regretting that now. A 95% solution on this Victor, so it's tracking nicely. I might have to change the range to enable because he's a lot closer. This one might need adjusting to if he's closer, but we'll see. So this is going to go into search passive, pretty much on his he turning into us. I think he is, he doesn't, doesn't know the torpedo's there, he does now. Okay. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, two, one. Wrong uh, contact clicks. There we go, 29 knots. Have some spearfish in your chops. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 3, 2, 4, contact breaking up. Look. Larry Barry. Yeah, maybe maybe this isn't Larry, maybe it's uh Lowry. His English cousin. Anybody with the name of Larry, I just stick them on top of the torpedo tube when I fire them, a bit like uh, in that old uh, classic. Uh, what was that film with, uh, what's his name, uh, Peter Sellers with the uh, nuclear weapons? Ride the bomb all the way down. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, nine, one. Yes. This should be the SSGN then. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two nine zero. Contact breaking up. It'd be good to see these escape hatches pop, and uh, particularly, you know, maybe if they're probably too deep here, six hundred feet. If, but if the boats were. At a hundred feet, hundred fifty feet, we could see him trying to uh, survive. Sailors survive. Probably would take too much of the graphics. Okay, so mission done. Charlie killed. Victor killed. Good. Very pleased to see you dealt with those, but. Because I failed a mission, then I completed a mission, then I failed a mission, I completed a mission. Basically, even though I've done a couple more missions, I don't think I'm any further in the campaign, because every time you sort of fail a mission, you have to do like two more successful ones. Certainly make progress in the story if you do successive um, successful missions. Um, I mean, more than 50% of the time I fail the missions that um, 
because I'm rearming at Holy Lock. And it wants to send me back to Holy Lock now anyway, so. Subkillers. So, incidents involving tax and translating and air convoys by hostile submarines in and around Archangelisk have been rapidly diminished. An anonymous spokesman suggested increased NATO submarine operations in the area are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has done it. The Pentagon denies everything, man. Do you control subs? No, we don't. Do you know what's going on in the war? No, we don't. This is an old picture, this is, isn't it? This is something from World War II. Like, that's like a... Maybe from the 50s, maybe. 397, that's an old sub, that is. Okay. So our next mission will be uh, tankers and tenders. Great, I love those. My worst mission ever. These things. Small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, expected to sail from Murmansk. Greenland Sea. Okay, so I think we'll we'll stop that there. Um, let's have a look at the map. We'll rearm. Ready and put save in. Look at the summary. So we've completed missions eight and nine tonight, although we failed failed a mission, then we did eight, then we failed a mission, then we did nine. Up to three hundred and seventy one thousand tons. Sunk two capital ships, which were done very early on. Um, in the first mission or two, and uh, yeah, it's not too bad for nine nine successful missions. We've obviously done a few more engagements than than this. It, it it'd be quite nice if uh, I think Jai was saying it'd be quite nice if I gave you a breakdown of the actual ships you sunk, um, like a detailed tonnage chart per ship, and uh, I'd like to see how many like battles I've fought. And missions failed. I know it's just more stats, but hey, we could all do with more stats. Um, so didn't get any medals tonight. No, not surprising there really. And uh, we need to head up this way to find tankers and tenders, which we'll do. So. Great, okay, I'll put that save in. So that's um, part eight of the Trafalgar class UK submarine in our 84 campaign, doing missions eight and nine. So next time we'll be back and we'll be attempting mission 10 and onwards. Okay, this is uh, Lone Gamer UK. Thanks for joining me. Please leave any comments in the comment section or like the videos or subscribe to the videos and I shall see you next time. Thanks very much.